right today we're going to look at um, frequency distribution tables how to construct frequency distribution tables in a previous video we talked about frequency distribution and we said frequency distribution can be grouped or ungrouped and then we looked at the grouped frequency distribution and then the ungrouped frequency distribution so now we know the distinction between grouped and ungrouped frequency distribution today we're going to look at how to construct frequency distribution tables if we are given a simple data like this so now the data says that the following numbers are max scored by 20 students in a test and these are the numbers or the data set we have now the question is to prepare an on group frequency table for the data now we know what group frequency distribution and then on group frequency distributions are let's quickly look at the solution this is very simple so what we have to do or what you have to do is that you have to identify each of the data points in the data set right and get a nice table like this in fact prepare a nice table with three columns the first one for max the max the second column takes what we call tally and then the third one takes what we call um, frequency and i will talk about this tally pretty shortly okay they are simply strokes that are used to represent the frequency counts all right so come back to the data set and then identify each of the data points in the data set so the first one is five okay it's not because this is in the first port but that is the, the lowest or the list number we have in a data set okay that is why it becomes the first so you write five over here nicely the next one is uh, six okay we have six over here so write it nicely six the next one go like this and see whether i'll get seven no seven okay so whether i'll get eight no eight so the next one is what nine so I have 9 over here. Okay, we have 10. So the next one is what? 10. Do we have 11? No. Do we have 12? No 12. Looks like there's no 13, there's no 14. So the next one is what? 15. Alright. So these are the any data points we have in the data sets. Now, we're going to use what we call tally for each of the frequency counts. Alright. So we are going to count the number of times that the Mark 5 occurs. Okay, there are so many ways of doing it, or there are different ways of doing it. I'm going to do the two types, and then whichever one that is appropriate for you, then you choose that. So pay attention. Now, someone is going to do this one after the other. Okay, so begin from here like this 5, then you come and put a stroke over here to represent that count okay comes down like that this is the second five another five put another stroke over here to present the second count okay then so it continues like that this is the third five put a stroke over here to present the third count of five okay then you continue like that this is another five and you put another stroke over here to present the fourth count of five then you continue like that let's just see that is the last five okay when you finish then you come and count the number of strokes which is called the tally okay how many are they one two three four then you write it as your frequency okay that means the frequency of five is what four All right good now you come to the number of what six Alright, so someone can begin from here and see okay this is my six the first one so i'm going to put a stroke over here one then i'll continue and see that this is my second six i'll put another stroke here to present the second count and i'll continue and see this is my third six and i'll put another stroke here to present the third count and that is the last one so one two three and i'm going to write what um three over here as my frequency and you see how this one works 
so let's assume that we have a large number of data sets you know sometimes counting this individual data point one after the other we waste a lot of time okay and so there is another way let's look at that one too and if you like you can go in for that one but with that one too you're going to construct a nice table like that and see that okay now i'm not going to see that this is one then i'll come and tally it here and this is two then i'll come and tally it here like that no i'm not going to do that so we see that how many five do you have here we count them one two three and then four and that's all so you know that you're going to put four strokes so one two three four is that right then write your frequency four good then you come to the next number six okay then you come from the top down like that this is one okay you come down 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 you go up 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 you come down this is two okay down down this is three and that's all so you are coming to tally and you have one two three okay you know the frequency three nicely like that and you come to number nine you come to the data set and you begin to cast them okay from the top down 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 there's no nine go up this is one okay go up this is two go up now you come down 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 no go up 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 like that good so we have two one two then you tally nicely then you write a frequency two good now let's go to the number 10 that you see that's pretty fast okay so you come to the number 10 and you see that okay this is one okay now come down 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 low go up up two up 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 three down down four okay down down like that up this is the fifth one up this is the sixth one up this is the seventh one is that right good so when you come here you know you're going to tally seven so one two three four you know remember the fifth one you're not going to in fact continue like five um, six and seven no the fifth one is going to cross like that like you are binding something together then the sixth and then the seventh is that right then you write a frequency seven good you left with the last one which is what 15 15 so you come here mark one then you go up down 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 uh, we have two we have uh, three we have uh, four then you go up, up down that's all so you have four so you come and tally one two three four is that right then you write the frequency four nicely like that and this is the nice uncooked frequency distribution table for this simple data set we have over here all right and there's one thing you need to take note of anytime you construct a frequency distribution table for a data set like this you know you're given that this data is for um 20 students okay so every time when you are done you have to check whether the sum of the frequencies is the same as the number you have over there so let's do this and see whether we are going to get 20. you have 4 plus 3 is 7 7 plus 2 is 9 9 plus 7 is 16 and 16 plus 4 is given as what 20. it means all we did is what right okay assuming you missed one of this let's say you missed this one it means you are going to have um six over here right it means you're going to have six over here and you realize that if you sum the frequencies over here you wouldn't be getting 20 you'll be getting something like 19 which means the frequency you're getting over here is less by what one you have to take note of that all right now let's take another example all right so the second example says that the ages of 30 occupants in a house were recorded as follows now we've been asked to um, use equal plus intervals of 0 to 9 10 to 19 20 to 29 and continues like that to prepare a grouped frequency table for the data 
okay and this is also very simple just like the one we did all right so let's look at a solution we have to um, prepare a grouped frequency table so we get a table nicely okay um, this time the observation is ages not max okay so we have ages over here okay the ages of 30 occupants ages all right and so the, you get a column for the tally and then that for the frequency all right you are given equal class intervals of 0 to 9 so that's what's going to be the first class interval over here the next one will be 10 to 19 10 to 19 the next one is 20 to 29 20 to 29 so you agree with me that you're not given the next one but when you look at the pattern you can generate the next class interval which is 30 to 39 and then the next one 40 to, to 49 and then you see someone will ask why did we stop over here 40 to 49 and we didn't continue with 50 to 59 all right well if that interval can have any data points to accommodate then there will be the need to bring it in but when you look into the data set the highest data value we have in the data set is i think 49 right doesn't go beyond 49 okay so it means the higher data value which is 49 can be taken care of in this interval and there will be no need for endless class interval 50 to 59 all right good now what is one meaning that in this class interval we are going to record all the ages from 0 to what 9 okay all the ages from 0 to 9 there will be no need to be counting and tallying one after the other okay but in any case someone can decide to go that way and and see that okay the first one is what 15 so i have to come and put a tally 15 will fall in the interval 10 to 19 right so i'll put one i will tally like that the next one is what four four will fall within this interval okay zero to nine so I'll tally the next one is 21 okay 21 will fall in this interval 20 to 29 so i'll tally 49 will fall in which interval 40 to 49 and i'll tally um, 5 will fall in which interval 0 to 9 then now what tally 2 will fall in this in this interval then now we'll tally 16 will fall in which interval 10 to 19 then now we'll tally 30 will fall in which interval 30 to 39 then now we'll tally 11 will fall in which interval 10 to 19 then now we'll tally now we'll fall in which interval 0 to 9 then now we'll tally 8 to 4 in which interval 0 to 9 then I'll come and tally by crossing it because it's the fifth one and you can be doing it one after the other like this up to the end right and you're going to get the correct frequencies but imagine someone doing it like we did it in the first example okay let's look at that one too and see which one is pretty fast so okay i'll come here and see that let me pick the first interval zero to nine okay all right so i'm going to count all the data points that are going to fall within this interval so i have um one jump 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 two tv jump 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 four five six right down down seven eight nine ten right so it means i know i'm having to tally ten so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right and i write the frequency ten then i move on quickly to the next interval the next interval is 10 to 19 so I'll come here quickly and then try and find them in fact count them no 15 15 but 15 will be between 10 and 9 so i have one down 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 two three four five six 
Excel. And then we have what? Eight, right? Eight. So it means I've come to tally eight. So quickly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Then I write my frequency eight. Good. Then I'll come to the next interval. The next interval is 20 to 29. Okay, 20 to 29. The only important thing you have to know over here is that you have to know the data points or the data values that will fall between or that will fall within which interval. So this one is 20 to 29. When you come to the data set, we have you know 21 for this so one down, 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 up, 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 two down, 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 up, up, three up, 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 down, 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 four, five, and I think that's all. So I'll come quickly and tally five, one, two, three, four, five, then I run my frequency, five, right? Then you go quickly to 30, to what, 39. So from the beginning, I'm trying to see where I can find 30 to 39, so I have um, 1, 30 to 39, 30 to 39, 30 to 39, I have 2, right, 30 to 39, I have DB, 30 to 39, and that's all. So I'm going to tell you what, DB, 1, 2, 3, right, then I write my frequency, 3, good, now I'll come to the next interval. 40 to 49 and then I'll try and identify them 40 to 49 I'll try to identify the numbers that will fall within that interval so we'll have 40 to 49 1 up 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 down 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 2 up 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 half 3 down 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 up 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 and then you have what 4 right so you come and tally um, one, two, three, four. Right? Then you write your frequency four. And that's all. The only thing left now is to check whether what you did is right. Right? By adding the frequencies and see whether you're going to get the number of occupants you were given the question. Okay, so let's quickly do that and see. We have 10 plus 8 gives us 18. 18 plus 5 will give us 23. 23 plus 3. 26, 26 plus 4, we use what? 30. Okay, which is the same as the number of occupants you'll be given. In any case, you may not be given the number of occupants or the number of students. You can decide to count the individual data points you have and then confirm, see whether you are right. So we have um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in a column. And then in the row, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So five times six is 30. All right, so I'm expecting to get 30 over here. So immediately I get 30 over here, then I know that what I did is what? Right. Good. Now let me give you another example to try. So you post a video and then you try this example later. I'm going to show you the solution. And then you compare your answers with what I got and let's see whether we've learned something. But before then, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and make sure you hit the bell icon so that you get new videos anytime you are posted. And please don't forget to like and share. Alright, so the next question which you are going to try says that um, we are supposed to prepare a grouped frequency distribution for the age distribution of 40 teachers in a school. Alright, use equal class intervals of 20 to 29, 30 to 39, 40 to 49, and then so on. Get your table nicely with three columns the first column for the ages, the second for the tally, the next for the frequency. Then you tally nicely and you write out the frequencies. In the next few seconds, I'm going to show you the answer so that we compare our answers. Alright, good. Now that we've gotten the answer, let's see. 
and confirm now that's what we have okay so we have the ages nicely and then the tally and the frequency all right good so for example let me just do for the first two and then see so for interval 20 to 29 if i have to know the value that will fall between or well, fall within the interval 20 to 29 so we'll start from the top over here and i have uh, one i have two come down go up 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 come down 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 three up 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 four up 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 come down 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 five you see go up 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 come down six down 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 then you go up up that's not bad so that's all i think we have how many one two three four five six is that right we can entirely nicely then you write a frequency six all right let's confirm that good now let's come to 30 to 39 okay so we'll do that quickly and then let's see so from the top and come down 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 we have one another one here two up 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 three up then come down right four five we have um six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen they have fifteen all right they only tally fifteen they you write out the frequency so that's what we have over here five 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 then you have what 15 all right let's confirm that okay you can go ahead and check the last two and that is what you're getting i hope you got the right answers thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time i will talk about measure of central tendency when we look at the mean mode and the median and then look at some technical questions and then how we can apply our understanding to be able to digest those technical questions I'll see you next time. Stay tuned.